Hey what's up YouTube, uh, in this video I want to show you guys how to unbrick an Samsung Galaxy Ace Plus. So while I was previously rooting my phone, uh, what happened was I didn't follow a, a method properly and um, my, root, uh, my phone got root, as you can see it's not even turning on anymore and if it does turn on it usually gets stuck on the boot screen which is the Cyogen mod screen. So for fixing this, what you have to do first is connect the USB to the mobile phone. Let me just show you guys where I'm actually stuck. So usually uh, this is the Cyogen mod boot screen and um, I bricked my phone so what's happening is that um, it is not exiting out of the boot screen so when your phone is bricked like this uh, what you have to do is first um, turn it off by holding the home and power button so once this is done hold the home button and uh, hold the home button and the power button and uh, unlock it in uh, download mode press up to continue so once it's here go to your system and go to the app which is given in the link below so what you guys have to do is um, extract this uh, winrod then you're gonna get this file so once you go here um, go to um, flash program slash ops and open Odin. So what you'll see that you see a, a yellow uh, box glowing. This indicates that the phone is actually connected to the computer. As you can see, it is. Um, now what you do is go to PDA. Uh, I guess you can see it. PDA. And press this file. As you can see out here. So once you do this, so uh, when you're doing this process, what happens is your phone gets restored to the stock uh, Samsung uh, firmware. So what this means is that if your phone's root, it's gonna get unroot and it's gonna go back to its original factory restore version. So let's start. Uh, be patient. Let it uh, do its work. As you can see on the screen, the process is actually taking place. Hey guys, um, it's nearly about to end and now it's currently copying the fat dot pin. So as I was saying, you have to be really patient with this process. It takes its time but it works. So be patient. Now it's installing the cache. And it's finished. So now you go back to your phone. It usually re reboots right now and as you can see it is um, loading the firmware. and it rebooted again and now it's booting back to the normal Samsung firmware What? There we go, and it's done. 
So thanks for watching guys. Uh, please like and